Hello everybody and welcome back to Elderberry Sprout. Today you're seeing a new desk cover here or like altar cloth that I managed to get secondhand. So I was thinking I could do a video where I share all of the secondhand journaling and creative tools that I've managed to scrape together in about the last month or so. So let's get started showing you all of the crafty goodies I've managed to find. So this is a pretty cool tin. It's made in England and I really like it. It looks kind of like it's ceramic. So it's a lot lighter weight. I think we can store some uh, craft stuff in there. Got a big old bolt of ribbon. Can't be too mad about that. Some ribbon there. This is the score of the century, if you ask me. This is a die set that has all the letters of the alphabet on it. And this is in my grandpa's shop. So I can finally punch letters and all sorts of metal things, potentially leather things. I also managed to get some of these um, plastic, like lacy doilies. I'm thinking of doing more paper dyeing with using this as like a resist on top of it to make all these cool patterns. I could even cut these out and put them in journals. This one's got a whole bunch of lace additions, so that's pretty fun. All this stuff so far has been from my grandma's house. Here we have another wallpaper book I managed to score. This is a little bit more tropical, not quite as much my style, but I'm sure I could have some applications to use these for. He's a little too big to be in the frame. And here I have some Country Pleasures vintage, I don't know, magazine slash newspapers. So these will be great collage materials. I also got a whole bunch of pretty napkins that I'm going to be using in collaging because apparently you can delaminate them, like take the decorative layer off of the fluffy layer and then use them in collaging through just adding a little bit of glue. So I have some cool patterns to work with with those. So I'm pretty excited to experiment with those. It's something I haven't done before, so it's always nice to try something new. Ooh, I've got even more patterns of these. Oh, there's so many fun ones! I forgot about those. I really like this one on the dark pattern. Also got a roll of really pretty wrapping paper. I'm sure I can use that. As you can see, these are kind of my colors. <laughs> Very warm tones with some gold. I love it. Some of the less exciting scores include a whole bunch of paper in different colors. So this is just construction paper that I can use in my journaling. So I got a whole bunch of that. That's a big old fat stack right there. I might put him off screen because it's pretty big. <laughs> Here's some more paper, some neon colors, some prettier neutral ones. Now these are a little bit more off topic, but this is a lamp cover that I want to disassemble and use the gold beads for something else. I've done this once before with this kind of dark blue iridescent bead thing and I know I will get like a million beads out of this so it's totally worth deconstructing when I watch TV some some evening time. I'll probably do that in the winter realistically. Little staple gun! Great little tool. I've never had one of those. That'll come in handy. So here I've got some bamboo placemats. I'm thinking of using them underneath some of my videos to, to kind of spice up how things are looking and define the spaces a little better. So these will be more for display purposes. And here I got about a million different types of doilies. So these are gonna be so fun to use in different journals. I'm so excited. Got some heart ones, got some vintage looking ones, some of those and even some round ones. So many to play with. I'm so excited to experiment. I've never really used those. I also found these placemats that they're not really doilies, but they're like, they've got kind of a odd shape on the side and they're very thin and they come in a million different colors. So I'm excited to experiment with how these might take color. I might try to dye them, but I do really love the scallop detail on the outside. Okay, these are kind of huge. I'm going to take them down. But I did also get these heart ones and some gold ones. So lots of fun doily action going on. And now for the things that I thrifted. Most of this was all from my grandma. So thank you, grandma. These are going to come in so handy. Now for the things I thrifted, I got this raffia, which I know I'll be able to use making tiny little brooms in all sorts of colors. I got this, which is essentially a paper holder. This is just going to be a desk tool that I use. And um, it's beautiful. It's actually wood and this is carved and it's made in India. And I'm just so excited to have this beautiful like desk decor. Ooh, 
Where do I put you? Ah! Let's leave you here. Then I also got this tin, which has the stars along the side. This is about 99 cents. And I think I'm gonna put some type of art materials in here, probably either beads or like waxed threads, because I do need a place to store just my waxed threads for book binding, so that might live in here. I also got this roll of paper ribbon, which has got this kind of cool texture on it, but it has these flowers on the front, so it's got daisies, pansies, and it even says what the plant is, like tulip right there. And I'm excited to use these as markers of the ingredients I use in my grimoire. So maybe I can start working with, uh, with daisies and pansies some more and tulips and start incorporating this into my spreads. And then another roll of wallpaper here. Not my favorite colors, but I'm sure I can figure out a way to work with that because I do like the greens. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of, kind of muted, kind of 80s. I'll see how I can make that work. But yeah, this was at the same place as this other wallpaper, so 50 cents worth experimenting with for that price, right? Anyway, there you go, guys. This is my current craft haul. So I got all this stuff over the last couple of weeks, and I just wanted to make sure I had the chance to show all of you guys, because it's pretty interesting stuff, before I put it away in my craft shack, because, oh boy, do I need to put this stuff away. <laughs> this is just living in a whole bunch of bags on my floor. I'm like, oh no, you guys need to go where you belong. So I'm glad you guys were able to get a peek at all of this fun stuff before they turn into products for my website. I hope seeing these gave you guys some inspiration about what type of weird things you can grab from thrift stores to use in your journaling practices. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!